Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today Show. Also, the podcast radio show, and you can find that on iHeartRadio, iTunes, or Google Music. Folks, let's talk about honesty today. It's, it's, a tough, uh, it's a tough world out there. Is honesty really the best policy, a lot of people say. Is honesty really the best policy? Let me ask you this. Husbands, when your wife asks the age-old question, do I look fat in this? Are you honest with her? By the way, that's a loaded question, isn't it? There's really no good um, outcome for you at uh, this point, uh, should you answer that honestly or not. What about when your grandmother uh, spends 100 hours knitting you the world's ugliest sweater and she says, don't you just love it? Or when your kid uh, makes uh, you a, a mishap or a puke green ceramic bowl in art class and says, do you like it? Come on, do you really like it, Mom? Don't you? Well, the old saying, honesty is the best policy, is not always right. Depends on the situation. Because honesty isn't a policy. It's a value. I value honesty in people. But I also value compassion kindness, appropriateness. Sure, it would be honest to tell your kid that there is no Picasso uh, in their blood and uh, that he ought to stick to spelling or uh, maybe writing. But is that kind? No. If you're being honest, do you tell your wife that she looks huge in that dress? Sure, that's honest. But is it compassionate? No. Some could argue it uh, would be uh, compassionate to tell her the truth so she doesn't go out looking bad in public. I'm not married to your wife, so only you know if that kind of uh, thing uh, will go over very well. Or you might be sleeping on the couch that night. I value honesty, but I also value people who have enough sense to know how and when to apply that honesty in a way that uh, does the least amount of harm to anyone that they're speaking to. What I don't value, my friends, are the people who apply honesty, truth, fairness, and equality on their terms only. People who don't want to do the right thing. People that want to do the easy thing, the popular thing. Or people that want to take the path of uh, least resistance. Is that honest when they do that? This is easy to do when you view honesty as a policy. Why? Because policy can change over time with new sets of circumstances. They can also change as people change. Ask me, I know. I've been uh, you know, um, in the people business for many, many, many years, and I've seen lots of policies and organizations and how they've grown at workplaces, and how they've changed in workplaces. Think about government. Their policies change all the time. Sometimes it's as fluid as just who in uh, the president's seat at the time and his policies. Policies change. Values rarely do. When we have a value system, a way of being in the world, a set of beliefs that guide our actions, we tend to hold onto them as our truth. Friends, we use these values to help us make decisions and make choices in our lives. From the time most of us can remember, we've made choices that help shape our lives. From the little uh, uh, mundane choices like pizza or burger or paper or plastic to more complex life-changing choices, which job to take, who to marry, kids or no kids. Those are considered decisions. When we have a strong set of values guiding us, it makes these choices so much easier because we've already established the guidelines, the boundaries, things that are meaningful and important in our lives. Do you see the difference now? I do value honesty in my life, and I appreciate when I receive it. I also appreciate when people have enough common sense to apply it appropriately. While it would be honest to tell your wife, or uh, let's use grandma, that her sweater is the hideous uh, uh, sweater that you've ever seen. You know the sweat 
equity and love and kindness that went into her creation. Any human with a heart would tell her they love it. Stash it back in the box that it came in and wear it once or twice when you see her. That's compassionate. Any man with a heart, a brain, and a desire not to spend the time in the doghouse would tell his wife that she's beautiful and maybe be brave enough to suggest that this particular dress just doesn't do her the justice or isn't the one that might be one of your favorites. And while I'm not a, um, uh, in, in, in a position to do the, a lot of these things, like the sweater, I would venture to say that any parent who wants to build their child's self-esteem would gush about a pukey-looking bowl and find a spot somewhere on their china cabinet, even though I don't have children that young anymore. But what if my grandchild gave me one of those? I would stick it on my shelf just because. Honesty is a value that should be taken seriously, applied fairly, and should be a value that you use on a regular basis, a sort of litmus test for helping you make decisions. Will honesty hurt sometimes? You betcha it does. This is why you've got to exercise your ability to assess the situation you're in and make the best decision you can based on what's happening around you right there, right now. If you know that an honest answer will hurt someone, unless you're in a serious, uh, legal, immoral, or unethical situation that requires nothing less than the blunt truth, decide if and how you can soften your approach to spare someone being hurt. Call me at 844-405-HELP because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Always be honest to the best of your ability, but add some kindness and, and, and uh, add some compassion to that, to that honesty. Take good care and may God bless each and every one of you and have a great day. May God bless you and remember, honesty is the best policy.